ED214 Network Podcast is for mature audiences only. Any videos, music, or entertainment not originating from DD214 Network is used and covered under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, also known as Fair Use. Opinions expressed are our own and do not represent any DOD or U.S. government entities as a whole. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. You are no longer alone now, because we have you. Good fucking morning, everybody. When did we, Hope everybody's when did, having a good one. When did we we become an all ages audience? I just heard a bunch of kids in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. How about this one? <laughs> that better? <laughs> oh man, how's everybody feeling today? Welcome to episode one eighty. What's going on, Freedom Fighter Guacamole Squalini with the first one? God damn it. Uh, Oh, you, are you, I'm, all fucked, I'm all fucked up on the buttons today. He's, Holy he's shit, I'm fucking pressing up. All buttons. the fucking goddamn buttons. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And if you see by the <laughs> title, you know I'm feeling there really we good. Go. I Holy was up late. Shit. This is Thank why I'm not you. a goddamn producer. Like, I mean, I could teach you the ways. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, man. How's everybody feeling today? Oh, uh, you know, eh, just a little bit of the button fuckery mixed with some emotional damage. I'm kind of in the same boat. I'm not going to lie. It does exist. It does exist. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not having any emotional damage. It's a great day here in the, in the, in the tri-state area. All right. We're feeling yeah, gee, let, let, gee, let me wonder, let, let me wonder why. We, you guys are going, going to your 500th fucking World Series. Does that have anything okay. to do with it? Okay. Like, okay. It's not I mean, 500, but I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, the I'm, Yankees going to the World Series is kind of like the Patriots going to the fucking Super Bowl. I'm yeah, or the, or like lately the Chiefs going to the AFC Championship. Like I, yeah. I can see, I can see how it gets old. You know what I mean? It gets old. With the problem is, if I sound like I'm, I'm being a hater, it's because I am. <laughs> there, there you go uh so the, we we've done 40 world series only won 27 but that's going to be 28 which is also a ridiculous number that's basically on average yeah, about one out, on average it's about one out of every world's one out of every four world series that's ever been played so like, and, uh, and so tomorrow Tomorrow, well, today is an, is a game, is the Mets versus the Dodgers. I still personally think we're going to get a Dodgers versus Yankees. That's, I really, I just really, th- I want to see Shohei make it, but I really want to see a Subway series. And I mean, it's good. It just, it's just nice to finally see the Yankees back. Yeah. You know, it, you know, as I, I'm, I'm a lifetime fan. Yeah, literally in every, it's- in every borough. All, 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 uh, all joking aside, you know, the excitement of being a fan, whatever your, whatever your team is, when your team, when your team uh, gets to the big show, when your team gets to the big show, it is exciting. And mm-hmm. as anybody who's not a Yankees fan, you know, it's easy to hate the Yankees because they've they've been to forty fucking World Series out of yeah. all the ones. Yeah, that's, was... almost, that's almost half of of how many have ever been played. Almost oh, half. Yeah. It's, it's about. It's a little bit less than forty percent. So like, there's basically like you, you flip a coin and the, you, there's a there's a chance the Yankees are going to be there, and there's about a one in four chance that the Yankees are going to win the World Series any given year. Yeah, it's like, and it's uh, so it's over over over, over it, yeah. they they have they have, they have, they have the, the most storied team in baseball. There, there's the, no 
absolutely no mm-hmm. denying. It is just so nice to like talk to my kids about it and be like, yeah, you're you're living in a timeline where the Yankees are going to the World Series. The World Series, yep. You know, mm-hmm. and it, we it, New York New York's been getting hit hard with baseball the last couple of years. We have not been. Yeah, we haven't been in 15 years since yeah. 2009. Yeah. The show was always a great moment for players and the fans. And yeah, from the dungeon, he got up super early. He he wrote to me this morning and he was like, hey, how come you guys aren't on yet? I'm like, you're early, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? He wrote to me like an hour ago and was like, how come you guys aren't on yet? I'm like, you're early. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what time uh, what time zone are you in? Like he's 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 a couple minutes away from me. Top three teams with the most stuff sold around the world. Number one is Dallas Cowboys. Number two is the Yankees, and number three is the Golden State Warriors. Interesting. That's all all three good teams. I mean, that's that's uh, well, the Cowboys. <laughs> used to be good in the 90s. Well, I think what 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 the Cowboys did right is they were doing the uh, that looks good, John. Yeah, we we looks- see your fucking breakfast now. Yes, good. Stop trying to show off. <laughs> now we're gonna pour syrup all over it. Oh my god, you are god damn it. You never how do syrup? you not have fucking diabetes, my guy? Dog, I don't know. You never it's had coming. syrup with eggs? It's common. <laughs> you know no. what it is? I you mean, what I've what done it before, but usually if I have syrup with eggs, it's because there's pancakes or waffles on the plate, and the syrup just happens to intermingle to the eggs syrup? off of the pancakes or waffles. True. I guess that's true. I've probably done that too. That that is true. I've- Syrup and eggs. <laughs> Mamma mia! Oh my god! I wish I knew more Italian. So we're talking food for a second here. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, you know what I used to like doing and I haven't done in a long time is peanut butter on pancakes. You ever do that Ooh, shit? Ooh, yeah. That's so dude. I would always. Yeah, I would always do my pancakes, and I do peanut butter with some like strawberry preserves. Okay. And then just fold them in half and eat them like a peanut butter and strawberry preserved taco. Yeah, or basically like a crepe, except it's just a pancake yeah. and not a flat. Except it's a lot thick, thicker. Lot thicker, thicker. And yeah. I don't have a French guy trying to break my arm if I don't say I love crepes. Yeah, right. Yeah, like. <laughs> is, that the, is that the correct pronunciation? Yeah. Crepe, yeah. Crepe, yeah, it's a crepe. Yeah, it's like. Uh, it's I've like. Never, it's like. I've never eaten ahead. one. I've never eaten one. Like, what? what is it? It's, it's literally, literally it's a, a paper flat, thin pancake. It's a flat pancake That's rolled it. up with some fuck, rolled up with some fruit and whipped cream shit. Done. No mm-hmm. shit. And, 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 there's well, about a, so, and there's about a billion, billion different varieties of them. Yeah, because you've got your sweet or you've got your savory. So with crepes, you can do fruit and whipped cream or like a jam of some sort with the whipped cream and fruit. Or you can do your savory stuff and put like egg in it and like crumbled up bacon bits and shit like that and then you're just rolling it up it's literally the taquito of the breakfast world i i hate the fact that i'm such a dunkin donuts slut dunkin donuts now that's a name i haven't heard in a long time like that's one of them fucking northern things i don't yeah i just i just i I don't do donuts very often i i really don't like it's 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 kind of it's, it's a it's a rare treat for me and mm-hmm. it, yeah, and it, I couldn't even tell you the last time I had a donut. Like, yeah, we. Um, it's entirely possible I've had zero donuts this entire year. Maybe a couple. Maybe. Yeah, I think. I think the last time I had a donut was when we flew out to fucking Kansas City. No shit. It might have been it in the fucking been, like, airport. In the airport, like, that's probably the airport. yeah. That's probably the last time I had a fucking donut. Um, and that was just because like our flight heading out that fucking Friday when we left to go out there. You know, we were at the we were having to be at the airport at fucking five a.m. The only thing open in the fucking airport was a Starbucks and a fucking Dunkin'. I don't like okay. Dunkin's coffee, so I got a coffee from Starbucks, and then I went to Dunkin' to get a fucking donut. That's pretty cool, though. That's kind of, yeah, it's kind of that's that's kind of a, that's a small victory. I would call it, for for being in an airport, that's a small victory. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm you know, I paid Cinnabon all the way. Well, airports, so, airports, got, airports are different than like when we were kids. Like they are not. It is flying now is not the same. Yeah, as when I was a kid, it's not even fucking close. Like freaking. I didn't fly. I didn't go on a lot of you know airline trips when I was a kid, but I, I did several times. And it is airport. The airport existence is not the same. Airports are fucking nuts now. Like they are fucking nuts. So, so from the dungeon, we have Dunkin' Donuts here now. It's become more common because. 
North Carolina, a lot of people from the North are moving here and on their way to their retirement destination of Florida. Um, But so with them moving here, we've started getting Duncan in the area, but Krispy Kreme all day, baby. Krispy fucking Kreme all day. Krispy Kreme is the choice. Remember I told you guys I used, I used to work for those fucking assholes? Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. I drove, I drove a delivery truck for those guys in fucking Tucson way back in the day. Yeah. Now, nah, we're, we're, we're actually considered part of the South from the dungeon. Oh, yeah. North Carolina was definitely south of the Mason-Dixon line. Like, <laughs> like they like they 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 kind of they kind of fought on the side of uh, the, the other guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's a lot less south now than it was when my family moved here back when I was six months old from New York, mm-hmm. because back when we moved here, you didn't have a lot of northerners that were coming down here to get away from all the harsh cold winters and shit from up north that you do now. So right. a lot of northern companies have been making their way down this way making this i consider it more of a transplant state at this point than the north or the south that's what that's what colorado turned into and that's what arizona was the entire time that's what arizona was the entire time i grew up when i when i was a kid when i was a kid and especially by the time i got to high school you kind of like they're they're native native tucsonans were there obviously there were plenty of native tucsonans people kids kids that have been born in tucson (laughs) So but it was like it was this huge mix of like a lot of us moved moved there from another place, and that was yeah. like it's only now like the, the like our 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 kids generation that are in Tucson they're growing up surrounded by fellow Tucsonans like 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 native <laughs> native Tucsonans. I'm actually say? uh so so first off from the dungeon yes I'm originally from uh, Albany New York, um so you're a but, transplant well so. My parents were transplants. Me, because I was only six months old, as far back as I remember, is North Carolina. I don't remember living up north. Okay, I would not call. I would not necessarily call you a transplant. If if you're, if you're an infancy, I'm. I was, I was four when I moved to Tucson. I was four, but I had, I had enough living, I had enough living memory of Kansas City that, like, Kansas City, like, stuck in my craw. Yeah. So for me, you know, for me, home is North Carolina. I'm, you know, considered a Southerner. I would. All my friend groups, because this is where I grew up. I went through all of schooling here, you know, and once, once my wife gets more, gets more job experience with her degree, we're moving to Tennessee. We're going further South. I have no intentions of going back up towards the North. Are you going to, are you going to do one of the cities or where are you thinking about living? Uh, Chattanooga. Okay. Okay. I've never been. So, I've, never, I've driven. I've driven through the area of Chattanooga. I didn't. I've never been. Yeah. Into, I've never been into Chattanooga because I. I went. I did like a cross. On that that mm-hmm. that road trip I always tell you about. Like I went. Yeah. I went across Kansas City east to east to west or Kansas City Tennessee. Excuse me, east to west. <laughs> but I only hit. I I only hit uh, Knoxville and Memphis because then it took me north to start going across like Indiana and, and Ohio and all that crap. So. Yeah, um, I only I only made I only made it about halfway across Tennessee, but that is one of the Tennessee is in my top five most beautiful states, guaranteed. It's, top so five most beautiful, easily, easily my top five. It's really beautiful. Um, the cost of living and everything is about the equivalent of Missouri. Yep. So Missouri. it's a cheaper cost of living than North Carolina, even. Um, yeah. There's there's just a lot of things that go to play in it. And with Chattanooga, Chattanooga's kind of turned into um not sure if you've ever been to Asheville, North Carolina. No, I've actually never been where I've, I've only I've only driven through North Carolina. I've never yeah. stayed over overnight in North Carolina. So Asheville, which is where Biltmore Estate is, the Vanderbilts, uh like it's our big fucking touristy mountain area. Um it's also where Appalachia's Appalachia Latchin states at um because Boone's right there, all that stuff. And Asheville's kind of turned into like this real chill microbreweries all over the place, bars, distilleries popping like, up. 
a little a, a little uh, a little hipster, a little bougie, but but, yeah, but, it's, but, it's, but with some Tennessee but with some t- or North Carolina flavor, basically. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of like that's the equivalent with like Chattanooga to North in Carolina Tennessee. is in Tennessee because they've got you know or, well, that's where you know we we go visit. We've got buddies that live there. We go visit them multiple times a year. Um, and when we go out there, all we do is we go hit the different breweries and distilleries and restaurants and, you know, we drink, we fucking sing songs and we stay fucking fat and happy. So real quick, I got to say from the, from the dungeon, you want to talk about fucking shady ass bus stations, dude? Like, I, like I'm with you on that, dude. Like fucking what, one of the first times Mm -hmm. when I was, I was still my early, I was still in my early twenties and one of the first times. I was involved in fisticuffs <laughs> with somebody much older than me, a lot older than me, like not somebody my like in my age. Group. It was at that fucking Atlanta Greyhound station. It was not in Atlanta. It was in Tucson. But <laughs> it, a, a, a fuck a, a bus station is a bus station is a bus station. And one of one of my buddies had to use the restroom. That's the only reason we even walked into it because we, we, we fucking live there. It's downtown. We were downtown for some reason, and he like <laughs> some dude some dude was in there and he was trying to like look over the look over the thing at my at my buddy using the restroom and my buddy came out and told me and i was like who the fuck did that right and i got i got a little agitated because i knew what the fuck he was doing and he's like he's like that guy right there i was like that motherfucker right there and we we had some words and fucking it made, it made me wish i had gone in there with my, no it's not i was in my in my youth this was a different version of jay this was this was like about it like my call sign is like you, you know notoriously darkness right mm-hmm. this was like this was as dark as jay ever got like if you think i'm dark now like in my early 20s like i was like i was like on a fucking hair trigger fucking ready to explode fucking every goddamn day of my life was that when your hair uh, was long yes it was there you go yep. you were a yep. rebel without the cause you were going platinum oh i de- i definitely had no fucking cause i can promise you like i would just fucking i would just go i would just go yeah at, at least, at least, at least, at least nowadays, I've got, I've got some patience, and there, there needs to be a little bit of cost before I fucking start going off. But Jesus yeah. Christ, like, like this dude had to have been in his like mid mid thirties, possibly early forties, and yeah, that was one of my first experiences fighting an old man. Like, yeah, one of uh, <laughs> one of my craziest places uh, from the dungeon was also the fucking Atlanta Greyhound, Greyhound. Station because I've went back when I was early twenties in the military. And there was a couple times just doing some road tripping with some of the guys instead to keep it cheap. We would just fucking get a bus ticket and go fucking go do travel. it that route. Go, go travel. travel. Yeah. Um, yeah. And fucking oh, some of the some of the motherfuckers we ran into in that fuck, fucking bus station. It's its, own, it's, it's, that's its own little world. It's kind of like being like well, an eighteen wheel, like a, like a truck driver. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like it's exactly own, people who travel by bus. Like it's their own. Like you're in your own little fucking world. As soon as you're on, as soon as you're on that Greyhound, dude, you're in your own little played, world. I haven't played Truck Simulator in a long time. <laughs> you and that, you that's and what you get out of this entire conversation, John. You and that I fucking game, dude. I don't. I, I do not have the patience for that. I would not make it on that. Listen, game. I don't even want to tell you how many hours I put into Once Human the other day. Okay, I'll tell you how many I'll hours I'm up to it now. I'll <laughs> give you. I'll, I'll give. I'll give you that. How many? Yeah. How I'm many? Close, I'm close to 300 now. But the when other did you day, get the game? when did you get that game? About a month ago. God damn! 300 hours out of a, out of the month. Yeah, it, it's already beat Starfield, damn, John. It beat Starfield. And I still play Starfield. I That's legitimately, I, I'm still the That's only intense. person in the fucking world who still plays Starfield. Oh. Did you guys hear the bullshit? Sony said they're not going to put up any DLCs for Spider-Man 2. I did hear about that. Squalini, what? you're the Spider-Man gaming guru. Talk to us about this. How do you feel about this? Uh, honestly, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm, too surprised with it um because the game's been out fucking long enough at this point because you got to think spider-man 2 was one of the fucking i mean it's been a year it's been out long enough they didn't really they said they had plans to do it but there was no real 
deadline or anything to just solidify that it was going to fucking happen. Yeah. And they've been so radio silent about it. And then they just announced that they're going to port Spider-Man 2 over to PC. Yeah. And it's like, we don't need a DLC. Yeah. No one's surprised. I'm not. Honestly, (laughs) the game was good as it stood. I don't think DLC was necessary. I, I, I wish I, I wish like, I wish we could say the same thing about fucking Red Dead too, dude. Because like I'm dying over here. I wish we could say I, yeah. I wish we could say the same about fucking at least Suicide Squad is still pushing out shit, but that game is fucking terrible. That's I, we're gonna, well, we'll, yeah, we'll, that Suicide we'll Squad fucking killed the Justice League. We're gonna we're gonna do it again. We're gonna end up rabbit trailing about how fucking shitty the gaming industry is right now. Fucking. I don't care. I, well, I don't. So, I don't care about the Venom game, but Wolverine, I so definitely here's, do want to play. Here's what here's what my thought process is. What because you got to think Venom, Wolverine, and the Spider Man games are all the same studio doing it. Here's my thought process. Venom is gonna be that DLC that we're not gonna get for Spider Man Two. The Venom game is going to be, it's going to continue the storyline because you got to think in Spider-Man 2, a huge chunk of it it revolved around fucking Venom. There was a good bit of it where you're battling or playing as Venom. So I can definitely see the reason they're canning it is because they put some, they've been putting a lot of effort into the Venom game. Well, we'll We'll see. I'm not holding my breath, guys, and you you know that. You, you everyone, 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 everyone. What's cause, What is Kazuti? What does that mean? Let's find that out. What is Kazuti? From the dungeon. What is Urban Kazuti? Dictionary. What, is that? what does that mean? It's a magical kazoo. You're the magical kazoo, Jay. I'm con- I'm confused. I'm just confused. It, it's a kazoo. I, I, okay. All right. You're. All right. Just broke my button. Yeah, I know, I know what a kazoo is, but it, like, it just the connection to me and a kazoo, I it just, you just my brain just broke. I so. see it. I actually do I see it. Oh, you care. sneezed. Oh, oh, you said bless. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Listen, I mean, we, I mean, kazoo, like, tight is what he was trying to say. <laughs> kazoo, oh, kazoo, kazoo, okay. tight. Oh, there it is. There it is. There okay. we go. Listen. There we go. Thank we, you. Thank you. We, we said we, we we said that we were veterans. We never said we were smart veterans. Yeah, that's like yeah. It doesn't take much to freaking crack my brain in half anymore, dude. Like, let me tell you, dude. Like, it's like yeah, so. Ask, so, ask uh, me a reverent. Ask me a reverent question of, of about something that like I never think about, and like you're literally just gonna see like me like just stop at the tin man. You know what I mean? And like, yeah. like just have to like freaking like process <laughs> process what I even was was even just asked. You know what I mean? We need to work on like having like some kind of loading wheel animation whenever that happens with Jay that we can just put above his head. You guys have seen it before. You guys, I know you guys have seen it where I just sit there kind of like with a dumbass look. I I do I do the uh, the Tucker Carlson. I'm just like, like, well, my fucking brain processes some bullshit. I I I fucking it's so funny because I. (sighs) <laughs> I love the fact that we just we, called that a fucking Tucker Tucker Carlson. <laughs> is this, am I wrong? Tell me that's you're not, not you're not wrong. That's that's the no, thing. because that is the that's dumbass literally, look literally, he gets on his fucking face. No, it's like that when oh, he got shit. when he got caught fly fishing in Central Park. That was the face that he had. That was the face that he had. But I'm gonna I do a live. Like I'm trying to figure out why the fuck was he fly fishing in fucking Central Park? This fucking dude, like, what the? F- Some people you just don't understand. I, I like like I, I I know you can do a like, lot of things in Central Park. I I know a lot of stuff has been dude. Yeah, Jim like Carroll, hookers and blow, but you know, guys like Jim Carroll, guys like Jim Carroll were writing about doing shit in Central Park, like in the '60s, in the '60s. That's right. Yeah. So you know, and I, I know you know, I know you know who Jim Carroll is, John. I do but, know who he is. Uh, yeah. So real quick, guys, do you guys want to make podcast clips like we do for the DD Two Fourteen Network podcast, Opus? makes it super easy to turn your episodes into high-quality, shareable clips. Whether you're promoting on social media or just highlighting your best moments, Opus has got you covered with fast and simple tunes. (laughs) 
You don't need to be an editing pro or spend hours chopping up things up yourself. With Opus, you just upload your podcast and they help you generate eye-catching clips in no time. But right now, you can save 30% off your first month with my exclusive code. Just go to opus.pro slash clean30 and you're good to go. So stop wasting time. Stop not boosting your content and get those clips out there with Opus. That's opus.pro slash clean30 for 30% off your first month. This is hard, okay? <laughs> Fucking sell out. This is hard, okay? <laughs> this is this is this this is like fuck. One more week till Venom 3 the movie and Noel is sounding like he's going to be a big part of the Spider-Man verse. So, so let's talk comics real quick because it was actually a big uh, week in comics. So let's start off with with Venom. Are you guys going to watch it? Did you I Jay, did you watch the previous ones? No. No, I, no, I'll be sitting this one out. This is this is a very typical no. like not interested like yeah. doesn't look it it's Jay okay so do not yeah, do yeah, not yeah. Do, do not listen to listen to John and Joe on this one yeah, because I still, like, I still I still need to hear because you surprise me sometimes you do you know I, I have I have proclivities yeah I have like like last like last week when I watched uh, the Man in the Iron Mask and, oh. and and just had a good I just had a good time re rewatching for the first time and like. Probably twenty five fucking years. It's a great fucking movie. It is a great fucking movie. I have proclivities, but as John and Joe can attest, about nine times out of ten, I'm gonna be like, it it stinks. I'm a, like the critic, you know, is that John mm -hmm. Lovitz? Remember that old cartoon? Yeah, it stinks. Yeah, yeah. like about I mean, nine times out of ten, I'm gonna be like, nope, stupid, no, nope, yeah, don't so, care. So you know for I mean? me, like, so for me, I'm gonna call it like Deadpool syndrome. I wasn't interested in the second one. I'm still not sold on the third one, but I wasn't sold on Deadpool and Wolverine either. You know what I mean? Up until like yeah. I watched it and I was like, okay, this, this is good. You know? And I kind of have the same energy with Venom three right now. You know what? Not too crazy about the second one. Not really looking forward to the third one, but I'll give it a chance just to, just to finish yeah. it off the story. Give it the good, you know? old, give it the good old college, college try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's kind of, at this point, that's kind of what it is. And honestly, I felt that Tom Hardy has done Eddie Brock fucking justice. Listen, so I man, haven't been disappointed with the first or the second movies. I've got free passes to the fucking local theater, to the local movie theater. So I'm going to just use those to go fucking see it. Why not? <laughs> Why not? You know, this is not, this use is the free passes, passes. Go see the fucking movie. Throw because they have these little cards you get that are like NFC cards. You top up with money, and then they give you a fucking beer pint, and you can go fill your own fucking glass with beer. Oh no shit! So you know, movie go fucking theaters. watch the movie, have a couple beers, and fucking call it a day. Just like airports, movie theaters are not the same anymore either. They are They're not. really not. They're they really not. not. Hey, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm over. I'm over here like I'm back in the 19 fucking 80s, dude. Like fucking sneaking shooters in, so I can fucking pour a couple of shooters into my fucking goddamn uh my my soda or whatever that I get. You know, like freaking now. Now you can just go there and buy a beer. Yeah, you know what I mean. It doesn't you, you don't even have to sneak I'm anything in. Yeah, yeah. You can. You have a good time. And well, and that's. Money. I mean, that's like if we go back to when I went to go see Deadpool and Wolverine. AMC theaters has a whole fucking bar in them now where you can get a mixed drink. There's one, there's one, there's one, yeah. there's a bar, there's yeah. a bar in the one that I go to here, here in yeah. Independence. Where I, you know, I can go to the fucking theater and go get me a fucking damn cocktail and yeah, the fucking pay, bartender I mean, at that motherfucker, he fucking makes pay strong it. drinks. Yeah, it's like you you pay you pay for it, but you can do it legally. You don't have to fucking sneak anything in. You don't yeah. have to be a, you don't have to be a dick about it. You know what I mean? That's like yep. We, we 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 live we live in different times. We live in a different time. Exactly. exactly. And I'm not complaining. I am not. I am not fucking complaining. Like not one bit. So mm -mm. Noel is going to be part of Spider Man four, five, and six, and then he says the next Spider Man movie is going to be called The Black King. Hmm. That's a. That's so a I cool saw those title. rumors. None of that is official yet. But if it but is, it's so if it is if we go and look back at the last spider-man movie uh 
what was it? No Way Home. Yeah. With Doctor Strange and Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield came back and all that shit. Um, the Black King is more referencing because at the end of that movie, one of the end credit scenes was Tom Hardy's fucking Eddie Brock. Yeah. Is in the MCU, like the main timeline of the MCU universe. And then he gets sucked back to his timeline and a piece of the suit gets left behind a piece of the symbiote gets left behind in Tom Holland's universe. So the, the black King is referencing like Tom Holland, Spider-Man joining with the symbiote, kind of like how we had that with fucking Tony McGuire. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff. I I'm another, Spoiler. another, another set of uh, Spider-Man movies. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of cash. I'm cashed out on comic book shit right now. I am. He's a, yeah. he's I, hate, I, hate, I, hate, I hate sounding so jaded. To, the, to this day, one of my one of my greatest cinematic experiences, like watching a movie in the theater in my entire life, was the original Spider Man because that was the first time in my life they had good enough special effects uh, to make what I read in the comic books come to life on on the silver screen. Um. The as the MCU as the MCU got bigger, more detailed, they started doing all the multiverse stuff. It's branched out so far now that like they lost me. I'm just I am just I am just so lost. On, well, you know, and, a, lot, and, a, lot of, a lot of the stories I read the, the the plot synopsis. I read the plot synopsis of a lot of the stories. And I'm just like I'm skipping it. I'm skipping that one. And yeah. and I've been I've been consistently skipping like. <clears throat> A lot of the comic book movies basically for the last like eight years. Yeah. So the, like, last, literally, the literally. last two months, you know what? I'll get to this. I'll get to this after this thought. Um, but there there is right now um a really good comic book show out right now that I'm actually really enjoying. Um uh-huh. and it's a breath of fresh air, it's Agatha all along. Uh it, I'm actually really enjoying this. I really feel like it's a breath of fresh air for Marvel. They're 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 changing some of their tropes with this show. Mm-hmm. It's not your typical Michael Bay style explosion action, you know, Marvel MCU thing, because I think a lot of people are sick of that right now, you know? And yeah, that's Ag- kind of what Jay was just talking about. Yeah. You know, and Agatha all along really, especially as also too, it's also Halloween season. You know, that's another thing. What's, so, yeah. like, What's the, uh, what platform is that on? On Disney plus. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's actually it's it's funny, it's it's lighthearted, sarcastic, and and there's a lot of cursing. I like I really I can't believe it. They're they're dropping f bombs on a Disney Plus show, which is cool. But it, I, think, it, I think Disney's starting to come around to you I better. So too. You're gonna have you're gonna have to fucking accept that people want R rated content too. <laughs> yeah, you they do. You can't you can't, you can't mm-hmm. just do the fucking. You can't just do the the Disney princess thing and fucking print money anymore. It also, gonna, makes it, it, also, it also makes it a little grounded. It makes it a little realistic. It know? makes it more real. Yeah, I was just going to say more real. Like, every, dude, I, yeah. I'm, I, I'm so cool with feel good movies, happily ever after, you know, solid stories, the, he, the hero's journey. I'm so cool with all that shit. Yeah. But sometimes people need to see that shit with a fucking hard R. You know what I yeah. mean? Like like it's, a hard R true. rating. You know what it I mean? Like, so, like that. it is so true. And this it's show it is. It's a lot more realistic. <laughs> yeah. Like well, he says, I mean, you need to go back to the way the nineties was. It's if true. we're talking, you know, with a with a hard R, you know, there was a hard R in Deadpool and Wolverine that came out of Wesley Snipes' mouth. <laughs> I don't remember yeah. that part. I don't remember that part. Yeah, we won't say it, but yeah, he yeah. he you know. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't the kind of hard R I was talking about, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is off the subject, but you are you guys familiar with who Linus Tech Tips are is? Yeah. I, I, actually, yes, believe it or not. I've read about I've read a couple stories on the so internet about this, him. This dumbass was doing a podcast one day. He was talking about how he used to drop the hard R all the time comfortably. Right. And his co-host was saying he was like, You used to you used to what now? And he thought it was the other, the other, uh, the one with the R that starts in the beginning of the word. Like, you know? yeah, like when you're, when you're mentally handicapped. Yeah. Like, yeah. So he but, thought that 
the hard R was that one instead of the other, the real hard R. And he was just like, right. yeah, I used to drop the hard R all the time. I'm just like, and wait, then what? like yeah. wait, 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 what? <laughs> like, hey, hang on. Can, can I just show it to you? Can I just show it to you? Yeah, yeah. why not? Dude, dude, hey, it's we, Sunday. We need, a, we need a good laugh. We need a we good do laugh. Whatever, we'll do whatever the fuck we want on here. Dude. I'm writing That's... on the search. I just wrote on the search bar on YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Take me to YouTube. <laughs> look at and then look at this fucking guy's face when this happens. Mm. Bring this down here so people don't get confused. I mean, it's been it's been kind of uh it's been kind of eye opening. I I've I've just sort of randomly here and there picked up episodes of you know old shows that i hadn't watched in a long time from like the early 2000s and just the casual um the, the casual sort of gay humor casual use of the hard r um oh really it's jarring yeah it's it's jarring now and for casual use of hard r yeah yeah absolutely like uh like okay it was an episode of american dad and it was just really? like, yeah, it wasn't for shock value. It was just, just like used. Whoa. Right. Well, I mean, here's the thing, right? That was in like, 2003 or something, like yeah. 2002. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to deny that I dropped my fair share of hard R's back then because we didn't even, the, the term hard R didn't even exist. <laughs> we didn't think about it. Right. But and it it's funny because to me, that doesn't feel like that long ago. But to my kids, I'm talking like N-word hard R. What? No. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's how people use that term. No. <laughs> I think that's so. the N-word. What are you guys talking about? Am I mistaken? I think so. Yes, Linus, you're fucking mistaken. No, the, the one, the ass. one with the, uh, with, like for like mental disability. I'm pretty sure people use hard R in a very different way than you just used it. <laughs> oh. Okay, either hard way. R means ending. I understand. The I understand. I understand what you mean. No, I'm not talking about that. Okay, cool. So I'm Look glad at, that I'm we are that Neo up. over here, dude. We're dodging bullets. That's yeah. bad. <laughs> okay. Yes. You want to know how to get fucking canceled? Just completely not think about that and fucking cover your ass real quick. His co-host. I have to agree with that. We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, go ahead, Squilly, his co-host. His co-host, Luke. So I watch a lot of Linus's, a lot of the <laughs> Linus Media Group videos and their content because they do put out good quality fucking content within about tech and different things within tech. Um, and Luke. Honestly, I'd rather see more videos with Luke in it than fucking Linus because he's just, yeah. he's all around fucking great. He knows his shit really well, but that motherfucker saved fucking Linus's ass right there <laughs> real quick because he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think you're using that the way it's meant to be used. I don't think you know what you are saying right now. <laughs> like, be very, be very, very careful. <laughs> be very, very careful. No. Uh, I want to talk about this, too, because I know that there are still and it's not just it's happened on this show. You know, yeah, the three the three, the three of us have said it. And I don't even think it's even a point of getting it out of our vocabulary. It's more of a point of like really knowing who the target is when you're, you're when you're calling yeah, it, that it's person hard, or it's, group. And, and it, it was such a big part of our vernacular growing yeah. up. That we don't think about, we don't think about it like that. Yeah, and it's the same as using a, a certain F, a certain F word, uh, you know that that is that is considered a slur for 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 uh, gay people. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, like it's it, it took it took me a long time to get that word out of out of my mouth because I I grew up. Yeah, it was so common in the nineties to use that word. And then plus but we like, were talking shit to each other in video yeah. games and sports. And, then, and it, it, it's still, I, John, you know, it still comes out of my mouth sometimes. I, I feel bad about it. Like nowadays I feel bad about it, but it, like it still pops out sometimes because it is so deeply entrenched in my lizard brain. Cause like, I grew up, I, yeah. I grew up, I grew up with such a trash mouth, dude. Like, yeah. Like, so it's like, it, like I, it, uh -huh. it's taken me a lot of work to get certain words out of my mouth. You know, because my brain just immediately goes like right there, immediately like right there. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing. It's the same with me. Like I catch myself all the time. Um, And that's, you know, even just, and I try to catch myself even when it's just me and the wife sitting downstairs and we're having a conversation because, you you know, even though it's just the two of us, it's like, it's better to practice it in everyday life, getting unused to saying that word. Because again, our generation where we grew up, that word, the F word. Yep. Yep. All the those F-word. were just normal parts of our vocabulary. And yep. there was nothing, you know, it wasn't frowned upon to say it that much back then, you know, things like that. Now, or like if you go to Ireland and you hear the word cunt constantly, that's like, that's, well, their, it's that's in their vernacular. It's in their well, vernacular. Exactly. And, th- and that's the thing. Like cunt in, in the UK is... And Ireland is the equivalent of fuck for Americans. And then there's the That's cigarette. Right. And then there's the cigarette. Well, and then cigarettes over there are called okay. facts. Which is, which is the F word. So yeah. in, again, again, in this exact type of conversation, the way yeah. I just said the word, I wasn't right. meaning it as the derogatory term. I, we were talking right. about how a that's cigarette. what a cigarette is yeah. called overseas. There are you, know, people, you know the actual definition? Go ahead. I'm sorry. There are still... European people that I talk to to this day who still call cigarettes that it's just. You know, it's, well, do, yeah. do, you, do you know where the term originated? No, it was a bundle, a bundle of twigs that's been wrapped together. It's a bundle of oh. twigs. Oh, oh, you've that said is, this before. We've talked about yes, this. We did. They, like that word actually has a legitimate English definition. Yeah, but the way it's used now and colloquially differs greatly from Europe to the United States. So as yeah. soon as you go, depending on which side of the pond you're on, that word means two very, di- very different things. And and I, and I like what you said, too. If you're about to get into a fight, that's usually when it comes out of my mouth is when I get angry. Yeah, that's that is o- o- almost a, almost 100 percent of the time. The, the mental, percent of the time, the mental fight is just is just goes just as hard as the physical one. Yeah. Now, this now this is interesting, too. So do drill sergeants have to watch what they say? Now? Oh, Totally. Of yeah, course they, they do. totally do. And I we actually have a talk about Ro- to Ronnie about that. Yeah. Ronnie and, and, yeah. And it's interesting too because I I was in boot camp way later than you guys were. So I feel like I was in like that transitioning era where things were starting to get a little softer. They so, still they still couldn't say it when I went. I went in 2010 yeah. and they, they couldn't say that word when I went. Okay. Like, See they could when I went, which was 2 years before or 3 years before you Jay. Because I went in 07. Well, I was still Don't Ask, Don't Tell, too. That's right. It was that still was- Don't Ask, Don't Tell at that time. Mm-hmm. Um, So it was still Don't Ask, Don't Tell at that time. We had just, or they had just started the transition from BDUs to ACUs. Mm-hmm. So at the beginning of BASIC, I was issued BDUs. And at the <laughs> end of BASIC, I had to turn the BDUs in for ACUs. Sounds about I right. was pissed because I loved my fucking. I loved. I, BDUs are pretty cool. BDUs, BDUs are, are fucking cool. awesome. Um, I'm not. I'm not, then, a, I'm not a big fan of the spark, uh, the, the starching, the constant starching, and and goddamn polishing boots. But fucking, I'll tell you what, dude. Like, and then they they look pretty tight. And then, um, and then also, while I was in boot ca- in basic training, was also when they started doing the stress cards. No, they did. I've never. No, those never existed. Yeah. No, no. no. So we we had. Yeah. Yes, they they did. We had them. I didn't. I didn't. I net. I've never so, heard anyone that had them like ever. And like I went to basic twice. So here's here's the thing. When I you went through, it was, it? it was the it was it was the initial phase. Like they had, they were. It was it was the testing phase so to speak, to see if they were going to actually do it or not. And the way they did it was they handed them to us and they took them right back. They're like, we were told we had to give these to you, but we didn't have, we weren't told you could keep, you had to keep them. So here now give them back. Fuck. What do they look like? what did they say? They, they were just fucking card. I don't, I mean, this was fucking 07 Jay. I mean, I'm, I'm just asking. I've never, I've never, I've never heard anybody actually get or be able to produce a stress card. I've That's ne- because they didn't I've let us keep them. 
Um, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm even. Well, you would assume like the cat, the cadre. Somebody would have taken a picture at some point with a cell phone or something. I've never seen anyone produce an actual stress card. And I, I went to basic twice. Once, one, once when I went in initially, and then yeah. once when I reclassed to yeah. do the infantry. And they, that they, they just didn't exist. It wasn't a thing. And I'm, I'm just curious. That story's been around since like the 80s and 90s. So like, I, I'm just, I'm just curious. We're gonna start not being able to say words and just use letters to tell how we feel. The, dude, the Gen Zers do that. They speak in acronyms now. They speak oh, in acronyms because, because of us. Yeah. Because FOMO. of us. FOMO. FOMO. Yeah. Uh, Yolo. What's another one? Uh, Bohica. Well, don't worry. The the Bo. the. Pretty soon, the acronyms are gonna go away, and everybody's just gonna speak in emoji. Yeah. Actually, f- funny enough, I use emo- I use emojis a lot in my texting, but it's always at the end of whatever I text. Yeah, but I use emojis a lot, and it's it's usually mm-hmm. like it's a lot it's a lot easier to use an emoji to to be indicative of like a feeling or yes, you know, like Thank whatever. You. Thank it's like, you. It's like, it's like fucking hieroglyphics. It's like fucking I could, hieroglyphics. I could not tell you how happy I was when emojis came out because then I could actually give my emotion to my wife when I'm sending a message to let her know I'm not mad. Women never send emojis unless they're talking to each other. So I never know when my wife is mad at me or not. Right, right. Sucks. Um, so my wife does this thing with gifts. She doesn't do emojis. Like if if I piss her off or she's mad at me and we're texting, she'll send me gifts to, to express how she's fucking pissed off or annoyed. Jesus so sometimes Christ. our fucking text message thread just gets fucking crazy. <laughs> Cause I've got I've got like a whole like thing of gifts like in my phone. You know what I mean? Like a whole I've got like a whole file folder like for like for for like every situation. You know what I mean? Like for like I got something for every situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Uh, hey, RB football's coming soon. We're a couple weeks away. Wait, say it again. Aren't, Army wait, Navy. What? Are, are we only a couple oh, weeks away no, from no, Army? No, 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 no. December, no. bro. No. That's December, dude. December, bro. That's like not quite two months away. Well, we've, we've months. talked about this like multiple times over the last couple of weeks, Every year. John. That's, it's a, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a lot of weeks. It's a lot of weeks. It's a lot. That that's the Army Navy is the last regular season game those two teams play every year. Every mm-hmm. year. Same with uh, like Arizona, Arizona State. That's the last one. They don't. They don't. So, some college teams and the, and the, the, like they'll play their rivals. Like out here, uh, Kansas and K State play. I think next week, they'll play like their they'll play their rivalry game like somewhere in the middle of the season. Like certain other teams and other regions and stuff, they wait till the last motherfucker. Like it's the last game of the season. So even if you had a shitty season, you can beat your rival and still say that you fucking like you won a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I could, I could do, I could do so, twenty, I could do twenty laps on one bottle of water. So I do, I do have a question for you, John. Oh shit! Because we haven't touched. Uh-oh. How's your, uh, how's your smoking thing going? <laughs> are you, are you ready to hear that I'm down to my very last pack from the carton that I bought two months ago? You said that last week. You said Did that I? exact thing last week. Well, Literally. the pack, the pack is still here. I have not been. The only time that I find myself smoking is when I'm working. How, you didn't bust into the pack yet? Uh, no, the, the the pack is busted. When I say busted, it's busted. Like you got like, what, like two or three left? Uh, like you made a pack last week? Did you make a pack last week? What do you mean? You said the th- same thing last week and you showed it to oh, us. Oh, yeah, this is that same pack. So you made a pack. Let's see the pack. Time. Let's see how many's left in there. Got you. Show us. Got you. Yeah, I'm from Missouri. You gotta show me, dude. <laughs> it's the show me state for a reason. You made a pack last week. Okay, dude. Hey, that's pr- dude, that's hey, some pretty solid. Fucking hell. Hell yeah, man. It's been uh I think that's pretty uh, good. That's pretty good. If I count if I do the math. Because I so did find like? I did find Look something like- that I did find something that's been helping me with the smoking. I have been eating a lot. That's that's pretty common. Like with- I, yeah, well, well that's usually when you quit tobacco or uh, 
or even like if you quit drinking mm -hmm. any any of those bad habits you're gonna yeah you're gonna put on weight because you're gonna start like eating a well, little bit more than you normally do well, well here's um, the thing too i used to up until maybe god maybe like two weeks ago maybe a week ago i started eating every every day and I know that sounds crazy hearing me say that, but there were just some um, days I wouldn't eat. And it's not because I would, you know, I just didn't want to eat. I don't know what it was. It wasn't depression. It wasn't, yeah, if you're you know. You're not if you're not hungry, you're not hungry. Yeah. I, I, mean, I do the same thing at times, John. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not uncommon. It, it, it's, it, piss, it pisses me off, though, because, like, I, I will get to a point that I want to eat, food. right? <laughs> I love food. I'll force myself to eat, and then I'll waste the whole plate. Yeah, you know, but now nah, the only time I'm fucking smoking now is when I'm working. And that's really what I'm trying to stop. Stop now is working and smoking, because when I'm working, yeah. I'm sitting down and then I'm like, I got to do something with my fingers and my fidget broke. So, well. Slinky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sit here at work and I've got this fucking thing. Like I'll be working during the day and I'll be like go, going over documents and looking at fucking spreadsheets and shit. And I'm just fucking <clears throat> back and forth with a fucking slinky. Um, Cause you know, obviously last Sunday was my first official day with no nicotine. So That's right. How are there. you doing on that? How are you doing on that? Can so you taste stuff? <laughs> So what I've done is I've gone and I bought fucking a shit ton of fucking chewing gum. <clears throat> Keep a pack in my pocket. So like if we go out to eat or anything, you know, I'm used to get done eating, throw a fucking chew in or a fucking or whatnot. So this has kind of helped with that. And then I have a container that I just keep on my desk with gum in it to just chew if I feel like I've got that sensation, if I need that, if the sensation to have to keep my mouth busy is there. Um, but honestly, I've been doing pretty fine with it. The wife's not been too enthusiastic because I have ADHD. I don't take medication for my ADHD. I drink these things. Well, with the nicotine being a downer and these being an upper from the caffeine, mm -hmm. they counteracted each other with my ADHD. There you go. Well, now, because I don't have the nicotine anymore, the caffeine in these is actually doing what the fucking caffeine's supposed to do and giving me fucking energy. I've actually been looking into ghosts. They're, they're, um... However, however... Oh. The problem I have is what's called the 10 p.m. ADHD zoomies, which is we're getting ready for fucking bed at 10 o'clock at night. And now I'm fucking hyper as shit. Right. Right. Hey, so, so six of one, half dozen of another. Yeah. Hey, so I've been looking into Ghost a lot, too. They got so like I, we were talking a couple weeks about the was a protein powder, or the creatine, something like that. We were looking at their we were looking at their protein powder. I did end up finally trying their fucking protein cereal. That shit was nasty. Really? Why don't you try coffee with no sugar and milk, Joe? Um uh, so uh, bah, bah. <laughs> I do drink coffee every once in a while, but this is just so much easier. I go down, I grab oh. this out the fucking fridge, and I fucking sit down and I'm good to go. I love um, coffee, but that shit makes me shit, man. That and my Keurig is stuck on, like, the descaling cycle. I've done the descaling process on my Keurig, like, seven times, and it's stuck there. So right now, I don't have a working coffee maker. And I just haven't decided to fucking buy a new one yet. I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't drank coffee in a while. I was drinking it pretty regular up to about maybe like six or eight months ago. Mm -hmm. And then once I kind of ran out of like the coffee that I had here in the house, I just kind of like didn't get it the next time at the grocery store. Yeah. And yeah. Like I just, I don't know. I'm it. Coffee's great. Don't get me wrong. Coffee's yeah. great. I just, I haven't, 
But I also, I also, I don't drink energy drinks either. So like, I don't, I don't really do, yeah, any, yeah. I don't do any of it. Like, I actually, I actually cut down on, um, on sugar in my coffee because it's, it was, it was starting to affect me physically. And like, it would come to, cause I would always do like, I, I, I'm, I'm a light and sweet kind of guy with, with throwing extra sugar in there or whatever, but I was having sugar with the creamer and that was, that was fucking me up a lot. So I cut that. Now I don't use any sugar at all. And I just put creamer and it's, there you, go. you know, it works. When I was, uh, when I was instructing at the uh, NCO Academy, I got big on, on drinking black coffee for a while, like straight mm -hmm. black coffee. I got big on it for a while. I still, if so for That's me, awesome. for me, I drink coffee more during the colder months. So, you know, later in the fall, winter time is when I really drink coffee. When it's warmer out, like, I mean, right now, technically, it's it's kind of that in-between with North Carolina because yeah. the morning when I get up, it's, you know, 35 degrees outside. But by the afternoon, it's in the fucking mid to upper 70s. So I'm still kind of at that point where it's like energy drinks. I drink these more for the warmer months. Because just I, if I drink anything, any hot liquid when it's hot outside, and for me, hot outside is above like 50 degrees for the high. Yeah. It just fucks my, my body up and I'm, I find myself stuck on the toilet. Mm, yeah. So I kind of have my, I go back and forth between the two. So I haven't replaced my coffee maker yet because. It's not time. It hasn't transitioned to that time of year where I'm going to start drinking coffee again. What's the latest time that you eat? Whether it be a snack or a, a big meal. That's one thing I definitely struggle with. Usually Same around here. about around about like 930 at night. I, I, I'm a big popcorn person. Mm. So usually around about 930, I'll pop a bag of popcorn eat that and then i go to bed and i know you know you're not supposed to eat within you know yeah. two or three Same hours time. before bedtime or whatnot um but that's yeah that's i mean i end up always i always end up i have my bag of like it's just routine bag of popcorn before bed yeah like for me i always have like some kind of like peanut butter snack like a nutter butter or something i always fucking regret it the next day but milk i don't have milk after 11 a.m if I don't have milk after, if I don't have milk before 11 a.m., it's not happening after because I start getting all fucked up. I may be lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. I, I'm starting to really think that. Lactose and toddler ants. Yeah, man. You know, I'm going to start drinking wash your sister sauce. Here. <laughs> <laughs> start I, I'm, I'm, I love, I love, it, dude, if, I be, if I became lactose intolerant, it would, it would ruin my life. I love, I love fucking. I yeah, like I know. Food. We had this whole ass fucking yeah. conversation because I, I bought to... oat milk. Remember? That oat was milk? like. Oh, yeah, you don't remember the conversation? Dude, we that was had? like you fucking like a month ago. That. Like oat? you ripped oat? into me about buying oat milk. Oh, yeah. Because why? It was, yeah, it, I was fucking, right. it was fucking hilarious, actually. Yeah, and fucking then we milk. sat here and had like a 45 minute fucking conversation about mm -hmm. milk. Well, yeah. If, if you get whole milk and if, and if, and if, and if you're, if, if, if you're, if you're, red cap, baby. if your body can handle whole milk, that's all you fucking need, baby. You know what I mean? Like, that's all you need. Like, I'm just saying, you don't need, you don't need all of the, the frills and the foo foo, you know, and the Trader Joe's. You don't need that bullshit, man. Go to the grocery store and get that vitamin D, baby. All up in that ass, pushing in them guts. Now who wants a little now who wants a little vitamin D with streaming? Okay. So everybody, just real quick, just hear me out real quick, okay? You see oh, how the DD for baby Jesus. Listen, I hate this, all right. I don't like this, okay? But I need to make money too. We we need this, all right. Okay. I'm trying. I'll I'll try. No, I'll try. the bet listen, the best part about it is that you guys don't have to do this. Like we love, and you, and we love you. We love I can you. Give you the script. I no, just no 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. From the dungeon, yeah. we need to get Jay to drink nut juice. Oh fuck you, bro! Fuck you, bro! <laughs> 
I was in the I was in the army for almost for almost twelve years. Who said I already haven't fucking had my fill, motherfucker? Like, yeah, all right, it's, it's called big, grog. Yeah, that yeah that big that big that big green weenie fucking like comes in hard, dude. All right. Oh, oh shit. So, I mean, wanna... if you want me to fucking do one of these fucking ads at some point, John, you send me the fucking script. I can't guarantee I won't fuck it up. I'm not even gonna read by the script. I'm just, I'm gonna do it without the script. Okay, I'm gonna do it without the script. Go ahead, guys. Do you like how this podcast look? Do you do you want or do you want to stream using Streamlabs OBS? In fact, hold up. Let me do one better. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Dirty ass Streamlabs hat. If you want to make podcasts and don't want to use things like, I'm sorry, D. I'm sorry from the dungeon. If you don't want to use things like StreamYard, or if you don't want to use things like, oh, I can't believe I'm going to say it, Riverside, you can come here and use Talk Studio. But there is a link in the description. If you click that link in your description, you get a little percentage off, and plus you get to support Clean Sanchez Media just by clicking the link. So click the link if you want to do podcasts like us and anybody else that did podcast podcast on here. Click the link, yada, yada, yada. I'm done. Here we go. No Love more. All right, breeze. John. Keep 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 massaging the nuts of the corporate corporate conglomerates. Yeah. yeah. This sucks. Jay knew what I was trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's 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 weird to have to do a live read for something. You it's know, okay. Because, but but you know what it is. I don't like John. You have to swallow you know, the gravy. You have to swallow the gravy sometimes. Here's here's swallow something the gravy. you guys know about me, and I'm real stubborn with this. I don't like to ask for shit. You know I, what I mean? You're not wrong. Yeah. You know. I, wrong. I don't. I don't like to tell people watch my streams or watch my podcast or come to my wrestling show or come to my concerts or come see me in Broadway. Like I'm just I'm not that kind That's of guy. You know what I'm I mean? Yeah. You well, you know very well. I am. Yeah. Far from that. Uh, uh, if, if 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 it's for <laughs> if if it's for if it if it is for a good cause, if it's for one uh-huh. of, if it's for one of the homies, if some if somebody like all right, all righty. Well, we're back now. We have no fucking clue what happened, why it happened, or when it happened, but we just know that it did happen. Oh, um, <laughs> so, huh? Shit. Fuck. Balls. Tits. Ass. <laughs> That was something. I mean, that. I mean, <laughs> what my commentary? That's what. Was <laughs> you know, because we didn't drop hard words. We didn't drop bad words or nothing like that. No, we really, we really didn't. I don't. I'm. I'm so. This is so. This is so far from the first time from the dungeon. We don't know. Like we, we do not know. Like it, it's a. Uh, we're we're confused because like. Me and me and John have joked about this. Joe's experienced it a couple times since he's been on. We get we get stopped and pulled like all the time, and we are we don't have a viewership. We do like if we're talking like gross numbers here, like nobody watches. We have us. you. We have yeah, you. basically like <laughs> on, on, on yeah. any given day. On any given day, we, we have, have like we have like two two or three views a day, maybe on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Now, now with like live viewerships, we range from six to 15 sometimes. And like those right. people come in and they watch the live show. And even all those times, the la- even the last couple of months, we've been fine. We yep. haven't had a shutdown since we first started you. Oh, no, since Olympics. It was the Olympics. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's well, like, we, yeah, but well, that one, that one was on us, though, because I, really, I still I disagree because, again, we that's exactly like fair, fair use. Fair use is a thing. True. This is commentary. We 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 are we are check we are checking every goddamn block. Me and John have been going through this from the early days. I swear to God, it's like, it, it yeah. If I, if I wasn't so logical, I, I, if I wasn't so logical, I, I there'd be conspiracy theories going going yeah. through my brain because I'm like, just, what, are we, what are we doing wrong? We're not doing anything wrong, and we get and we get randomly pulled. Like maybe, like maybe, it happens maybe, so often. Maybe the thing is we're doing something right, and they don't want us to succeed. That would be the, John. <laughs> slow down. That would be the conspiracy. <laughs> That would be the conspiracy theory. <laughs> like, like we're, yeah. we're not going down that rabbit trail. I mean, <laughs> I just, you know, it, it's it's just fucking weird. It, it, when it does happen, I mean, the the last time the last time anything severe happened was the Great Facebook Exodus. Yeah, remember Facebook. when we got zucked? 
and we got hard. sucked fucking hard. We, we did. We did. And that's why we had, that's when we, we had, but to that's why we're on fucking YouTube now because yeah. we got tired of fucking Zuck the cuck. Yeah. Zuck being a cuck and fucking, fucking us. And instead. fucking, yeah. He's supposed to be in the corner fucking watching. God damn it. All right. I, like I'm supposed to be fucking here, not him. Right. You know what's so, so funny? And, and the only <sighs> thing that got us in trouble on Facebook was music. Well, and that's, and that's the part I don't get because even now on YouTube, on these random days and they're random they're not yeah. if, 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 if this was happening consistently like every other week this that or the other or we were doing the same thing wrong every time it's random it doesn't seem to matter what we're talking about what day, what you know what particular week it is we get we just get shut down and it's like we there's nobody there's already nobody watching right like what, what do we got right yeah now? Seven? exactly got like seven seven not well, seven thousand so not seventy thousand Seven. I do want to say seven. thank you to all seven of the viewers that were watching us before the live ended for coming back in. Coming back because yeah. we have no fucking clue what happened, why it happened, or when it happened. We, we just haven't even got, we out. haven't even gotten a notice or an email, nothing. No, I'm because saying. that was the first thing I did, John. Was I went straight to studio and I started looking. I was like, "Well, where's the fucking notification? Why the fuck did they do this? Why the fuck is this happening?" And there was nothing. Zero zilch nada. When are we going to have a social media platform for veterans by veterans for veterans? Pepperbox.tv. Yeah. Check it out. I was gonna say there's a couple out so, there. Like- so it's it's a um it's some of the like veteran oh. YouTubers and content creators, the oh, gun, the gun sphere, they created their own streaming service. So that way, because there's certain things that you can't oh, put shit. on YouTube. Angry Cops are on so, here. Brandon Herrera's on here. Donut Angry Operator's Cop on Herrera, here. Herrera, Donut Operator, Fat Electrician. Holy uh, shit. Demolition Ranch. Like a bunch of fucking those types of creators. They created their, they got together and created their own fucking streaming service because they got tired of fucking their shit getting demonetized on YouTube because they were producing like gun content and stuff like that, which is, they can post videos, but they can't monetize those types of videos anymore. Hmm. Might be some, might be something for us to look into. I'm, ar- I'm, I'm already looking at it. I'm, I'm already looking at it. Uh, well, wrestling. I'm- this is actually this just came out too. That's right. Wrestling just came out with one. It's called Only Wrestlers. Rob Van Dam and his wife created that. Uh, his wife Katie Forbes and Rob Van Dam. The I, I love Rob Van Dam. He's great. Well, it's one of those things where like the. We, we we talk many times about how this how this podcast originated, where it came from, and what the original idea for this podcast was. And some of those ideas were: we don't give a fuck about. This isn't necessarily a money making scheme. This is this is just us being ourselves. Oh, I know. Well, I know yeah. you know. I know. Well, and that's kind of what I'm getting at. Is yeah. you know, and and to get taken down on places like Facebook and YouTube for seemingly very innocuous shit you know what i mean like it it it, it, it kind of startles me sometimes because i'm like we weren't even fucking doing anything wrong it's, it's like being a kid it's like being a kid and just hanging out outside the yeah. fucking walgreens and just riding your skateboard back and forth on the asphalt and somebody some old ass comes out there and fucking yells at you yeah. and it's like the fuck the fuck did i do i was just fucking skateboarding like fuck off yeah. you know what i mean like no like piss off do you like mind your, mind your own fucking business you know what anything- i mean like and this is, and I'm not trying to sound like egotistical or nothing, but I think that it would behoove of them to kind of realize that the smaller creators like us who are pushing to have our content out there for pushing for our, for people to listen to our show and to watch our show. And mm-hmm. it's like, they want to, they don't want smaller creators to right. succeed, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, unless you fit a very specific mold, they don't give a shit. That's the thing, right. and we're we do we're not, not part. We're not even close to like any specific mold. We're, we're 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 all three veterans, but our show this is not your typical podcast. This is not this is not a scripted typical. Po- this isn't even a regular live podcast, and we go live mm-hmm. for the most part. We go live. Yeah. Like this is not even a typical live podcast. Like we don't really give a shit. Whatever we decide to talk about that week is it's like we're in the fucking smoke pit and just smoking and joking. And you got these three jokers on here. Yeah. Not not a lot. Not we don't, you're, we're not necessarily going to get a ginormous audience. 
okay and 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 we're not exactly going to generate the kind of uh what would you call that uh in corporate speak monetary value yeah this is i mean this is um, this is like fucking you know it's very neat this is this is water cooler talk that's what this is it's you know three guys fucking like you said smoke pit if we're gonna go military with it you know, no three dudes guard. standing around fucking bullshitting for fucking an hour and a half yep. when they're supposed to, when they should be doing something a little bit more fucking productive. Yep. But, you know, this is our fucking, this is our end slash start of each week. That is yeah. correct. hundred percent. That is correct. So, you know, that's, and some douchebags out there in fucking corporate America just don't like the fact that we do this apparently because. Or, or, or the, or the, or the fact that I'm not interested in generating them fucking money on my fucking goddamn blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me do it. It's not our fault. It's YouTube's fault. It's every dude. So. Fuck, fuck them all, dude. Fuck Facebook. I actually, fuck YouTube, I actually do blame, all. like, I blame algorithms and stuff like that because I do, and like I, and like I do, I do a lot of cannabis content. So I get, I get shadow banned all the time everywhere. I'm sure. Insta- yeah, I'm in, sure. In, in, Instagram really? and YouTube. And to be and to be fair, same with this show. Those that kind of content is for mature audiences only. We are a hundred percent. That's why we have a fucking disclaimer, though. Every that's, episode since the first every one. Episode, yep. First thing you fucking hear is a goddamn disclaimer. This is for entertainment purposes only, not for fucking kids, mature audiences, motherfucker. And, and we always add in the fair use. Every yep. time we do, we have done all that consistently for reasons and. We, we we keep getting proven right because we keep getting it's, fucking shut down. So I don't I get watch, I don't get it. It's always I so I watch this guy. I watch this guy and these and I, and in no way am I talking down about the content that they make. But there's guys right. like Metal Metal Burb and another one like Blind Wave where they like Blind Wave. They watch okay. TV shows on their YouTube. They watch the whole episode. Granted, they won't show the full visual of the episode, but every now and then they'll show a moment from it. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, well, how are you doing that without getting in trouble? Or are you getting in trouble and not worried about the 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 couple of dollars that you're losing? You know, like right. what's the what's what is the the energy of that? What is the not the loophole, but what is the correct route to take in order to not have this happen? You know, right. we've done well, live, we've done even pre-record, even like some of our pre-records also, you, you yeah, know, that, this. Yeah. It, it's been, and, and it's random. It is. It, well, yeah, I, I haven't found a pattern yet. Other, other than the fact that it keeps happening. Yeah. I have, not, I have not found a pattern in a single one of our shows where we get interrupted or we get shut down. Like the, the specific reason why, Yeah, because again, because again, I cannot justify in my head why anyone would care about a show that has less than less than two digit numbers of, of viewers. Yeah. And so we're talking, we're talking single digits, homies. Yeah. Like we have yeah. single digit viewers. Like how, how do they, how do they, how do they even know that a little group like us with a small audience are even existing right now? That's, that's another thing too. You know what I mean? That's like probably, yeah. that's probably algorithms and AI, yeah. but if, if they're monitoring stuff, which I'm sure they are, I still haven't figured out what we like, which we're, we're clearly pressing one of the wrong buttons. Yeah. And well, I'll tell you one what, thing. What, what button is it? Cause yeah. like, I haven't figured out what the pattern is. Well, I'll tell but, you when the upload, when the upload comes up, we'll probably know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because when the upload, it tells you uh, if there's, co- if there's any copyright restrictions on it. Mm-hmm. And it's so weird because we've been shut down. We've had, you know, we've never, but we we've have had never, fight. we have we've never once. Yeah, but we have never once ever on any of our channels or social media ever been striked for anything. Not Correct. once. No z- zero strikes, but we get shut down yeah. at least what well, I would say what about once every 2 months? About give once or every like that, yeah. Give take give it like maybe maybe like every 2 months, maybe quarterly, maybe yeah. quarterly. You know what I mean? Like we we get shut down like and it happens all the fucking time. Like like yeah. every we've been doing this for almost 4 years, ladies and gentlemen. 4 fucking <laughs> We have been doing this for four years, correct? And we still come back harder. Mm-hmm. And we, dude, fuck them, fuck them all, dude. Like fuck them all. Now, usually, like, usually when this happens, I'm usually stressing out, like what the fuck. But I was just like, now nah, we're just coming back. We're on. Roll, we're dude, just, we're rolling with this. We're just, we're, by we're now, just come back on. 
we're we're we're, vet, we're veterans of the fucking podcast yeah. business with 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 or without an audience. We're veterans of the podcast. You know, business. we may not be we may not have a big influence, but we know how a podcast should go, how it should flow, how it should run. We even Agreed. know the things not yeah. to do, even if we do Agreed. those things that we're not supposed to do. Hard agree. This is interesting. I just read this. Japan has the fastest internet, 319 terabytes a second download speed. Je- Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. That's like that's like almost the equivalent of like all of human knowledge. Like, like <laughs> God, look up, dude, John, go- Google how many terabytes, how many terabytes would all human knowledge equate to? Like, see if you can Google that shit real quick. I want to fucking see. Cause there's like, like if you if you combine everything that humanity has figured out at this point. And just put it on a hard drive. There's an equivalent to that. <laughs> Estimates for how much information the human brain can store can range from one terabyte to two point five petabytes. So the most computational neuroscientists estimating the capacity between ten and hundred terabytes per person. Oh, that's per person. Now, what about all of humanity's yeah. knowledge? So, all of humanity's knowledge. Combined. Oh, here we go. If all the knowledge of the human race was collected, how much storage space yep. would it take up? First, there you need you to sort out the difference between data and knowledge, especially when you consider consider a petabyte that's a th- thousand terabytes and a terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. You use high, you use current high debt. This is a very descriptive thing. You can fit a petabyte. It, into a single 4U enclosure in the 19-inch server rack. IBM and Sony have crammed 330 terabytes into a single tape cartridge, so you need three of these to store a petabyte. So 3 million petabytes or somewhere close to that. Okay, 3 million petabytes. Okay, got you. Got you. See, and I'm getting a totally different response here. I'm getting 16 zettabytes. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. (laughs) Well, three million petabytes might be close to that, actually. That might be close to that because a zettabyte is fucking past a fucking petabyte. That actually might be close. Because John, you said three million, right? Three million yeah, petabytes. And and, and, P, and, P, and petabytes are smaller. It's it's one one thousand petabytes for a terabyte, I, I believe it said around there. No, that's be, that'd be terabytes to pet, petabytes. This Guys, is a math. I don't know this shit. Gigabytes, <laughs> gigabytes. So a thousand gigabytes equals a ter- a terabyte. Yep. Then terabyte, from a terabyte, terabyte, you go to a petabyte, yep. which is a thousand terabytes. Yep. We're talking exponentials here, John. John, this is exponentials. Okay. And and then to zeta, right? And then to zeta? I believe so. After that, because that would be, that might be close. Well, three million though. That'd be, that'd be a lot. That might be a little bit more than what you Yo, said. No, listen. You said veterans. 16. Three, yeah, three veterans trying to do like fucking exponential math. <laughs> Like holy shit! Yeah, but, but like, if, can, if, can, you, can you see my ears leaking? Like brain fluid? Like yeah, can you see so, my ears leaking? So from the dungeon, I got it now. It says here Japan set a record for the world's fastest internet. It means you can download fifty thousand movies in one second. Dope. Somebody needs to fucking like. Did you see they fucking hacked so, the internet archive? Did you guys do that shit? Yes. So let's for, fucking talk minute. about that. Hold that well, thought. What do you got, Joe? What do you got? So one about. zettabyte is a million petabytes. Okay. That, that uh, that's a no. So it would be. So John's answer would be way more than sixteen zettabytes. No, John. John way more. It would be way more than freaking sixteen zettabytes. Because he said he said three, three million, million. Three million petabytes. That's a three that's, million petabytes. So three million petabytes would only be three zettabytes. Ooh, okay. So it okay. So, so my somewhere. response is more than John's more. because okay. mine was 16 okay. zettabytes. So we're talking somewhere between three three and sixteen zettabytes is the combined knowledge of all of human history. Like mm-hmm. holy shit. Like, and now and and how long hey now do this. How long would it take to download three zettabytes at 319 terabytes? Per se, uh, per se, uh, what not like now do, now do John's and like do some math, fuckers. <laughs> I want to see this shit. You guys got you guys like peak my interest with this shit. 319 terabytes per second versus three zettabytes. 
319 TB. Watch us fucking work, ladies and gentlemen. Watch us fucking work. Accomplish this fucking 10 thing. minutes and 40 seconds. God damn. So they've got fucking God damn. So they've got fast enough internet to download the entirety of human civilization's knowledge in 10 minutes. That's that's what I was. We'll, we'll round up and say eleven minutes because it was ten minutes and forty seconds. So that's close enough. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm like, that's that's what I was looking for. I was like, three hundred nineteen terabytes a second is insane. Like that's that's like warp speed. That's fucking warp speed. Like, there's can you like, imagine? There's, there's not enough. There's not enough accumulated knowledge for it to last. You know what I mean? Like you, it's like almost can, instantaneous. Can you imagine your fucking ping on a video game? It wouldn't exist. Ping, I don't think ping would exist at, that, at those speeds. Yeah. There would be no ping. That is like, true. There are more people in Japan in their country. And the, I mean, well, they've always been so advanced. They've had talking toilets for like 30 years now. First off, I don't need my fucking toilet to talk to you. Yeah, pass on that. Pass I'll on that, bro. It. I like it. I there's there's have, just I, some things that are just like, nah, I'm good. I still haven't. I, I, shit I still, in my mouth. I, I, still, I still haven't fucking shit right since the fucking Easter nuts in our mouths. Like so, like I don't need to. I don't that need to. fucking two me. Easter's again. We're we're about to hit the fucking third Easter since that fucking episode. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about. Tell it. you when you pee if there's something wrong. Don't don't do toilets. Tell you when you pee if there's something wrong with you. Yeah, some of them do. That's actually. my thing. I go to a fucking doctor to tell me what's wrong with me. I don't need my toilet to do the same fucking thing. Yeah, but maybe the toilet's telling you you need to see your doctor. There might be they they might be onto something with that. They might be onto something with that one. Have you been have you have you have you been checked for diabetes? Like there's there's high levels there's high levels of like sugar in your blood or in your in your urine. Sorry, or there's your or there's blood in your stool. There's blood in your stool. Yeah, you know she like. Have you guys ever like had one of those like scary moments where like you take a dump and all of a sudden there, there's like blood in the toilet and you're like, oh, what the fuck? Like what the fuck is that? What the fuck no. is that? Not yet. Oh, it's scary the first time. Let me just tell you, it's scary the first time. Well, what happens the second time? Uh, well, the, the one time I'm thinking of, like, <laughs> we're talking like hard stools. Hard hard stools and what I'm talking about are two different things. I'm not talking about hard stools. There was one time I, I like, just randomly at whatever house I was living. And I think this, I think it happened in freaking, uh, I think it happened. Well, that's, that's what you get when you need to take <laughs> shit to fucking keep your dick hard. That's why I fucking, that's why I always fucking, I always say like, Fun, you fun. do know Ozempic's a fucking diabetes drug, right? I was just about to say. I thought that was like that Bluetooth shit. I was just shit. about to say. <laughs> no. Ozempic is... So, Ozempic was initially made to as a weekly injectable for type 2 diabetes, but then they I, learned that you could use it for weight loss also. Oh, shit. But no, it is not to make your dick hard, Jay. Holy shit. Oh, that was like that Bluetooth shit that like I always see fucking commercials for when I watch porn. Like, Holy shit, I'm fucking dying right now, bro. This guy fucking said it was. You no, know, because like, you know, remember oh, like, shit. if you masturbate, you get hairy palms. You know, it's like, hey, Ozempic's causing blindness. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, like you go blind if you fucking jerk off too much, right? Like, <laughs> yo, that's I'm what I was fucking crying right now. That was. <laughs> Oh man, so we're coming. Hey, close hey, to you. Hey, hey, dude, they shut us down today, dude. Fuck them. Fuck them all, dude. Fuck them all. Like we'll go, we'll go fucking twice as hard on the fucking back end, dude. We'll go twice oh, as hard, fuck, hard. Dude. every fucking time. I'm getting sick of that shit, dude. I'm oh, getting man. sick of it, bro. Oh crap. <laughs> oh. oh man, so he I, I got... a fucking diabetes medication. I'm still stuck on the fact that he thinks it makes your dick hard. Will you stop? I was fucking joking, dude. It was a goddamn kayfabe, motherfucker. Kayfabe. That's gonna All be right? such, that's gonna be such a good clip. It's gonna be such a good clip. Yeah, you need to make a. We need, we really need to get on that making clips thing because like we, we do we do have some good moments. We do have our yeah. moments. Well, now that we I did fucking John sends me fucking clips before he posts them like every fucking week of shit. Wait, you guys have been posting clips? Every now and then. I was gonna say I haven't. I okay, never mind. Bit 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 bit. bit. John, the hack, the the Internet Archive. Uh, so Mrs. Norris Wrecker says, Jay, you are thinking of Viagra, what you need to use for that. I don't. I fucking don't. Trust me. Like, no need. No need. Yeah. Here. Promise. 
my, 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 my pipes are clean and they're in very good working order. Show Even though to, 43 show it to me, months, Jay. No, I don't can't. show it to me. Don't oh, do that. Exactly. That, will oh. get us, that will definitely get us like banned. We'll get banned. I didn't say do it live. We'll get shut down again. Next week on OnlyFans.com. <laughs> that, yeah, that's that's going to be like the fucking end of us right there, right? <laughs> that's going to be the end of us. That right would be me, like me, we're me, gonna me, get, me literally gonna, showing my ass. We're going to get shut down. We're going to get shut down and we're going to have no places to go but fucking Rumble and OnlyFans. And then it's going to be like, well. Be like, well, Jay's showing his butthole again. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, freaking. Yeah. Um, so before I get to news, do you guys want to see me scream like a bitch? Maybe. Is there, is there a clip? When yeah. don't you? Yeah, let me see. Yes. If it's a clip, yes. And then we'll get to news. We're fucking done with that. God. <laughs> I what love that. The, We're fucking that done with that. <laughs> we are Literally, fucking done with that. You have, you, have, you have got to clip. And that. that's why he wore the brown pants that day. <laughs> you have got, dude, you, you have got to clip that scream and like put it, put it on the soundboard. Like, yes, was that dude. seriously you? Was that, that you? That was me. Yeah. That what, was were you, me. what were you scared oh, of? Dear I was God. playing a VR game called, um, I uh, was some type of zombie VR game and like I lost control. It was free too. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to play this shit. And I started playing it and you could see I'm trying to put the shotgun shells into the, into the weapon. And I look up and I turn around and I fucking got hoarded. Well, you gotta, you have to move. You have to move. Shoot, move, communicate. Shoot, move, communicate. You can't communicate with the dead. Shoot, um, move, communicate. The second one is move. Move, move. So, you gotta so, move, John. So we, I, I got one, it's one news thing here before we get towards the end. The Navy said Friday it has uh -huh. punished just one of just one additional chief petty officer out of eighteen sent to captain's mass, and an officer from the USS Manchester more than a year after it caught a group of chief petty officers running an illicit Wi-Fi network aboard the ship. <clears throat> what does illicit mean? Like, like, um, like, I know what I know what the word means. Like, what, like, what were, what, what, like, like, uh, unauthorized Wi-Fi is that basically I, what it's coming down to? Squilini. Uh, that guy. Illicit means like illegal or for nefarious means. Uh, if it if it if it's just an unauthorized Wi-Fi, that's why. Maybe that's why only one of them got found guilty. Was it just an unauthorized Wi-Fi? Uh, that's what it sounds like, but it says that the acknowledgement from the Navy, which comes after the ship's command master chief, was sent to a special court martial, suggests that the majority of the sailors involved avoid significant punishments despite concern over the incident. The commander of the Manchester Squadron, Captain Douglas Meager, said in the investigation results that had never seen much heinous and egregious conduct by a command master chief in an entire CPO mess. Meager ordered more than a dozen chief petty officers and one officer to receive non-judicial punishments for their role in a, the Wi-Fi network. Commander Cindy Fields, a spokeswoman for the for the commander of Naval Surface, Surface Forces, confirmed to Military.com in the statement that 18 chiefs and senior chiefs and one officer did in fact go to Captain's Mass. But only one was found guilty. Yes. That makes me really, that makes me really curious because that... Illicit, illicit would be indicative of, like, yeah, like something illegal, something nefarious. Where you know, like, if, if they if they set up their own little Wi-Fi network to send messages to each other back and forth, you know, you know, something like that. Like, you know, I just it sounds to me like it, like they were just operating an unauthorized Wi-Fi network, which they probably yeah. weren't, which they probably weren't supposed to be fucking doing wherever the fuck they were. Yeah, so you know what I mean, because. because uh -huh. Because they because they need the goddamn internet that fucking bad, right? Yeah, one one question I do have is, well, shit, <clears throat> God, goddamn internet's fucking wacky today, but it's looking fine on YouTube. That's actually kind of funny. Um, is my internet? Did my internet get us knocked out today? I don't think it did. I really don't. That was yeah. like because like because you you never you never lost connection with us. 
You never yeah, lost yeah. connection with us. Like, so no, I'm going to say no on that. All right, cool. Yeah, this so whatever. We're, the show goes on, but yeah, th- what I think too, uh, what I keep on getting in my head is like opsec, um, yes, un- unprotected um, connections. Yep. Uh, yeah. IP addresses and stuff. Probably like exactly that. what the fuck it was, and that's that's what it. If that many people were basically found not guilty or received non judicial punishment, and only one person was found guilty at a captain's mast, that's that's it. Doesn't sound like anything illicit was. Illicit was not the right word to use. It would have been unauthorized. Yeah. The word the, the word should have been unauthorized, not fucking illicit. Illicit mm-hmm. would be indicative of indicative of something like like more 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 than illegal. Yeah. Not just not just illegal, nefarious. Like that's that's what the word illicit means. Is yeah. ne- is like nef- it's like a synonym for nefarious. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like that, it's a step, I, I, a step up. Illicit is like a step up from illegal. You know I bet I mean? you money that their porn access got restricted on whatever Wi-Fi they were using, that and that's who, or that or money. or uh, porn um, downloading of movies, stream talking, sites, talk, talking or, to the, talking to the families. Oh talking to, shit! Talking that's to their right. Family. Like that's like well, and you, and if, if you're a captain of a ship, yeah. if you're a captain of a ship and you lose control of your fucking non-commissioned officers, which that in the in the navy that's a chief petty officer. If you lose control of your if you lose control of your NCOs as a commander, mm-hmm. yeah, fucking you. Everybody knows how that story goes. So this was this was a statement being made by the captain. Like, this is my motherfucking ship, bitches. Like, if I say if I say we're fucking shutting down the internet for a few days, the internet fucking stays shut the fuck down for a few days. It's like going into the box at NTC where you got to turn in your fucking cell phone. And every fucking platoon's got at least one motherfucker, and some of them a lot of times are NCOs that fucking sneaks in a fucking sneaks in a fucking phone. That's like, right. Mm-hmm. And some and sometimes they coordinate it, and so that's how they game the system because they've been they hate going to NTC. They've been there like three or four times. They know how to game the system. So when it's fucking cell phone turn in time, fucking, they're like, sure, here's my cell phone. And they've got one in their fucking, they've got one in their ruck, ready to fucking, ready to rock and roll. That's right. You know what I mean? Thank you for, thank you for coming, uh, Mrs. Norse Wrecker. Don't forget, we have Joe here too. He's, he's a great guy. I love him. And yo, guys, I can't see you. Can you guys still see me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Okay. As long, because I'm looking at the YouTube right now and, and like, it, it, it's, it's, it's flowing great. You're doing fine. It's fine. All right, cool. We're, we'll run with it. We'll come to the end. God damn it. I don't get it. Aren't you supposed to listen to the commanding officer? That's what you sign up for, right? That's the, well, that's called discipline. That's the idea, right? Ideally. But then, we, you know, that, that's when we get into conversations about bad, bad morale and uh, command, command climate. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. And that's, that's a little bit more nuanced. Maybe this captain is a fucking dick bag and, has just been running like way too tight of a ship for whatever mission they're on. You know, like it's a, we've all been there. We've all done that. We've all, we've all been in the field and gotten fucking tiny heart, gotten fucking tiny heart syndrome because shit wasn't going the way we liked. And we were tired. We're fucking, we're tired. We're fucking miserable and fuck it. Fuck everything and everyone. Right. Especially the people that are telling me what the fuck I'm going to do. Right. And so that there, there's this, there's this, the balance of the scales, right. Like we're talking about morale and we're talking about OPSEC and safety and uh, dis- discipline to obey mm-hmm. the orders, the orders of our superiors. Right. It's a balancing act. Yeah. Like, like, like juggling balls and swallowing gravy when John, when John fucking has to hawk fucking shit on our podcast. Right. So it's a very, it's a very delicate balancing act. So something obviously happened on this ship. People were pissed off at each other, probably, but everybody, everybody got like their peepee slapped. Even even mm-hmm. if they got found not guilty, and even if they only got non judicial punishment, they got their peepee slapped. Yes, they like, did. And that 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 was a, that's that's a very clear it's a very clear message, very clear message from the top. We're not fucking around. And like I've I've seen I have in the army, not the navy, obviously, but in the army, I have seen that happen, and I've seen it happen in more than one unit. Yeah, and I've, I, I, when I was a mechanic, when I got back, when I got back from my deployment, my first deployment as a mechanic, I got transferred to a unit that was in the process of 
finishing up cleaning house. Like they had had, they'd had such a, a bad run, like for the, the previous two years that they were literally like cleaning house. Like I'm talking like stacking, stacking freaking people's careers, like cordwood. Like if you weren't making mm-hmm. the cut, if you weren't making the cut, they were kicking you the fuck out. If you were in this unit, That's and I'm, I, if I'm talking, everybody <laughs> like ju- ju- junior enlisted officers, senior, senior NCOs, NCOs did not matter. If you were if you didn't make the cut, yeah, you, you were getting stacked like cordwood, and you and you can find another job after after we give you your DD two fourteen. That's right. I, I joined a unit like that after my first deployment, and I, I I did fine. I didn't I didn't have anything to worry about. I was fine. But I've seen yeah. people, I've I've seen a lot of people's pee slapped. I've seen a yeah. lot of people's pee get slapped, and sometimes it's like, yeah, that's what. If you want a good command climate, if you want, if you want discipline, people have to listen to you. And then, you you know, go ahead, go ahead, John. I got to say the one thing that really pisses me off is that there's lack of accountability a lot of the time in the military. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it out there right now. There were NCOs who Mm -hmm. got caught being um, extra inappropriate with other soldiers and a lot of them were, if they were of like a higher rank, whether a master sergeant, a first sergeant, even like a sergeant first class, they would force them to retire. Yeah, they force them out instead of like punishing. Yeah, them. yeah, and 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 they're, they're, that 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 culture exists too, and that's, I think they've gotten better at it over the years because I've I, I've heard I've 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 been witness to a couple of stories where people got busted down. Yeah, but it does. I would agree that it doesn't necessarily always happen enough. Um, but also, if I saw an NCO doing something inappropriate or if they got caught doing something inappropriate and they lost their career over it, I was never sorry. Yeah. And I always said, I always said to myself, you know, when, when I'm looking in the mirror and brushing my teeth in the morning after my shower and I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, if you ever fucking pull some shit like that, you just des- you deserve to get kicked the fuck out, too. Yeah, because we're wearing wearing the uniform actually, you know, presents presents something. It means it, something. It, it it means a lot, and it and it, and it's an institution, and you should be taking it that fucking serious every day. I'm not saying you got to put up with fucking bullshit if somebody above you is um, a bad leader. You know what I mean? Like the, like there's nothing wrong with you know letting people know that like, hey, you're kind of wrong. You know, I was, I was never afraid to tell my leadership, like, if I disagree with them, like why I disagree with them. Right. I, I think you're doing something wrong. There's a way you have to do it tactfully. You have to do it tactfully. You can't just tell them, fuck you. Right. You have to do it tactfully, but it's like, no, you're wrong. You know, but when people get caught doing actual illicit shit, like, like there's that word again, right? Yeah. There, I, I was, I was witness to many people doing illicit shit in my time in the army, especially across two MOSs. Um, I was never sorry to see any of them go. They deserved it. They did. They deserved it. They deserved to get kicked the fuck out. Cause like they're wearing, they're wearing the same uniform. And if they're doing illicit shit, wearing the same uniform as I am, they're putting a fucking stain on my goddamn uniform. You're right. Like I'm, I'm trying to wear the motherfucking uniform too. And I didn't do anything goddamn wrong. So you don't, you don't get to fucking piss on. You don't get to put a goddamn piss stain on my fucking Mm -hmm. uniform. Because you're doing illicit shit, right? That because your illicit shit was none of my fucking business. But because you're still wearing the yeah, same one, yeah. fuck you. And to go no. back to that article, you know, those guys probably risked the safety of their whole. Boat. They probably did. They were probably they probably they were probably just fiending for fucking internet access, and they created a fucking Wi-Fi network. Like with, Which with is wild that they were able to do that. It's dude. It's 2024, man. I'm not surprised. I'm not fucking surprised. I'm really, really not. Like it, it, like we're, we're getting to that point in human, human history and civilization and technology that that shit does not in the middle of the fucking ocean, in the middle of goddamn nowhere, that shit does not surprise me. Does not surprise me one bit. All right. Well, guys, we are here at the, uh, at the, at the end, the final thought where we, you know, where we say our favorite part of the show, do one of you guys want to take it tonight? I can't think it's Joe. I think it's Joe's week. Yep. I still can't see anything. 
We got John, you, John. Stop You're touching here. buttons. You are still here, John. Oh, that's still? the thing. I can't press anything. <laughs> he can't even see. Oh, he took that Olympic. He took that Olympic shit. He got fucking blind. Oh. He's fucking blind. So yeah, cause, yeah, because I thought it was gonna so, get me hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, everybody, it's that time of the week. Um, that time of the episode where. You know, we we get a little bit more serious for a few minutes here, and we talk about the importance of reaching out to your battle buddies, reaching out to just reaching out to even the National Suicide Hotline. If you're in a place of crisis, if you're not in a place of crisis, making sure to reach out to your battle buddies and your friends and checking in on people. Um if you're in a time of crisis and you need someone to talk to and you don't feel like talking to anybody you know personally, you can always reach out to the National Suicide Hotline by texting or calling 988 or dialing 1-800-273-8255-TALK. Um, we are starting to get closer and closer to the holidays. Yeah. It's you know a tough time of year for everybody, um, for a lot of people now around the holidays because of missing those that the the loved ones that we've lost and friends and that are no longer here with us and stuff of that nature. So just make sure to reach out if you're in a time of need or you're feeling down and you just need to vent to somebody, you can reach out to those sources of the suicide hotline. Again, you can reach out to a friend. You can reach out to a family member. You can reach out to me, Jay or John uh, via discord there's there's plenty of people out there that want to listen and want to take the time to make sure that you're okay if you're in that time time of need it doesn't matter the time of the day there's always resources available for everybody and we want to make sure that those resources get used especially because we want you back in formation in 168 Damn right. beautifully fucking said guys love it. love it beautifully fucking said ladies and gentlemen we will see you for 181 next week we are fucking 19 away from 200 dude Come. and hopefully and Wait. hopefully next week we don't have our fucking shit get taken down fucking an hour into the fucking episode dude oh, what seriously what the fuck fucking fuck youtube dude you like, know what, whatever you know what we're gonna do next week we're gonna be extra careful next week we're not gonna do anything we're just gonna stare at each other <laughs> I'm not That's sure it. fucking work. <laughs> Fuck YouTube. Fuck the bitches. Yeah. I don't <laughs> episode where for an hour and a half we just sit here with our middle fingers like this. I can do it. Fucking I can, word. I can do it. Too easy. Too easy. Watch me fucking sit there for 90 minutes and just sit there and stare. Like with the with the doing the turk the tuck. We're, we're gonna be standing finger. there like this, and then we're gonna be like you know but guys we love you so much thank you for coming thank you for coming back thank you for everybody that watches we joke about our audience size but like you know unlike unlike you know i'm really sorry i got such a fat cock and i'm always right all right you need to stop taking ozempic man i i hell no dude like dude i'm on that bro I got that blue chew, bro. I got that blue chew. Hey, I heard blue that stuff chew. is actually really good. I want to try it myself, but I don't I need uh -huh. it, you know. You're gonna go I, blind, John. You're gonna go blind. <laughs> Have a good one, team. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs> Fuck you.